comes a time in every season where you have to fire on all cylinders and it's got to be from the pitching, the bullpen to the hitters. Um, and I think at this time right now with three weeks to go in our, in our season, we have been resilient. We've, we've overcome some adversity through the season and resi to be resilient, you have to overcome adversity because uh, a team that doesn't go through adversity, I believe is, it hasn't really earned that, that opportunity to get into a uh, potential postseason uh, play and, and have that experience to draw upon. So it um, goes all the way back to the uh, top of the ninth inning at San Jose State when we came back five runs, I think, to, to go ahead in that top, top to, to have a chance to win on the road at San Jose State. So um, yeah, two comeback wins this past weekend, 90 degree heat, 90% humidity and mosquitoes. It was tough. It was tough. The environment was tough. Two guys behind the, the dugout, two fans ragging on us the whole time. Play against the game. Don't play against the pitcher who has a three ERA or 30 innings pitch without a run. Uh, we're going well. Our offense is going well. We just need to play against the game. Uh, not get caught up and play against the opponent. We're one and a half games back, whatever. We have a chance to make a move, uh, as you know, every weekend. We made a move this past weekend. We're going to try and make a move, uh, progress forward again in the WAC play. Um, hopefully overtake uh, a team or two and just stay ahead of the pack. Um, our goal is to just keep, keep moving forward and uh, playing against the game. And it's a good opponent. It's going to be a great opponent for us. And uh, the guys down the line on Sunday afternoon, they, made, they, they actually recommitted. And I'm, I'm bold and I'm going to be honest with you, they committed to winning the league. Not just postseason chance. We have a chance in the next three weeks to just find out how good we can be. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Well, we're excited. The guys are playing well. We're playing our best baseball right now. It's what I've asked them to do from uh, February 15th. Just play your best baseball. And uh, I would say this past weekend, um, we overcame a lot of adversity, a lot of tough environment, a lot of tough crowd, uh, you know, um, uh, environments out there. And uh, they played their best baseball, and we came out with two out of three, and, and uh, we're going to move forward this weekend. Play your best baseball in, the, in when it counts. And we're about two days from May. And I always say in, in college baseball, if you play your best baseball in May, uh, that pays off. So I guess we're about two days away from, from the month that I always kind of say that we've got to play our best. So if it's, you call it peaking, playing your best baseball, playing the best, uh, uh, you know, on, on the field inside the white lines, uh, I think that we're doing that right now. Um, play to your potential. And uh, that's all I ask of these kids, and we'll see how that turns out in the next couple weeks. We'll go back to San Jose State, to St. Louis, to Nebraska, and those are tough opponents on us. And uh, we, 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 we experienced some, uh, some adversity against those uh, upper-level opponents. But you take that, you overcome it, and you, 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 gain, you gain the resiliency that we have right now from those weekend uh, uh, road trips. And uh, you take it into the postseason play and uh, finish the conference off uh, the best you possibly can. And then you know, we'll see how that goes. We'll see if we uh, have a chance to go get, uh, get a chance to go to Mesa. And that's, uh, that's still our, our, our destination, um, May 20th. The, the bullpen in all seriousness has been the X factor for us. Uh, Dylan Shiraki goes out with four and two thirds scoreless on Friday. Uh, two hits, no runs. Matt Lautzenheiser gives us a chance in game two, six and a third scoreless. I'm sorry, I gave up one run. And then real proud of the start Nick Tanner had. And then I think the exclamation point was Justin Mulvaney for throwing his best pitches when they mattered the most, uh, you know, in relief roles uh, throughout the entire weekend. So proud of those guys. Uh, Nick Tanner's development in his sophomore year has been eye-opening. I wouldn't say jaw-dropping, because we knew that product was in there. Nick was more of a position player in high school, and he came here with limited innings under his belt. Uh, got, I think, 20 valuable innings last year, and then really embraced the role of getting lengthened out, where I maybe envisioned him as a lefty specialist coming into this year, where he, he, he's wrapped his arms around, no, I want to throw, you know, 100 pitches every outing. And uh, after the shoulder bug, uh, you know, got out of there. His arm strength has gotten better. And we ask a lot of him. We ask him to play uh, 18 innings Friday and Saturday, get hits for us in the middle of the lineup, and then take the baseball and give us a chance on Sunday. So to see the command, uh, the number of strikes, his competitiveness, and his durability uh, speaks a lot to what he's done in every way, shape, and form for us. 
All of our left-handers uh, make things a little bit more comfortable. And I think our defense feels it, and I think the rest of the coaching staff and the rest of our team feels it. Uh, there's a lot of good left-handed hitters in this conference, as well as what we played earlier non-conference. Uh, Nebraska specifically comes to mind. And to have those guys hot and ready at a moment's notice, they're durable, they can throw back-to-back -back games. Uh, Alan Cook shut out last Tuesday's midweek game here as well. Uh, it, it just lets everyone sleep a little bit better at night and going into the game as opposed to, you know, question mark on what's going to happen at the end of the game or what the matchup's going to be. I, I think it gives us a level of preparedness, which, uh, you know, puts us at ease. Cal State Bakersfield is a good program. They're, they're a good team. They got a couple hitters that we're really going to have to bear down on. And of course, their starting rotation and the five main arms that they've gone with this year are, are, are good. And that's an understatement. So. Once again, we'll let them know what their strengths are, how we're gonna attack their weaknesses, but more importantly, try and uh, push home on what we need to do as a pitching staff. Because uh, once what we tell our guys is if they throw to their strengths, it doesn't matter whether they're right, left-handed, conference or non-conference, uh, if the pitches that they throw are executed well, the result's gonna come out in our favor.